Good luck to you, James. All right, week seven. Your boys, the Portland Polytoads, versus the Modest Muse. Are we good this time? Yes, we are. Here we go. What we got? Celesteela, Weavile, and Sharpedo. So, technically all six of them were on my radar, but there were seven that I couldn't decide. And it was honestly a toss-up between Weavile and Sharpedo. I didn't expect him to bring both. Which means my fighting coverage is all the more effective. We'll see how it goes. Um, what does he have in a way of fire? I don't. I don't think he does, unless that Draco's ult has something packing. I kinda want to go. Do we want to lead with the Hitmonlee right away? I kind of want to save that little combo because that'll be fun. Um, we could just go with the Bronzong Wargrim right away. Keep Landorus. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll bring Landorus and Torkoal in the back. Although I suspect uh, Weavile is here specifically for that Landorus. Landorus has a good matchup against his team, right? Honestly, not as good of a matchup as Hitmonlee. But we, we we have tests. I need to see if there are scarfs on anything. That's that's why we bring him game one. I need to know what's on his stuff. Good luck, Yamez. Here's to a good fight. Draco Hippow. I'm fine with that for now. I'm fine with that for now. I'm thinking, yeah, we'll get some boost going. And Draco Zolt's the problem, so we'll just make sure it doesn't move. Hippowdon might yawn. It might yawn at Bronzong. That would be rude. Okay, we get our fake out. The fake out connects. Nothing from Draco's ult. Yawn from Hip Out on. Not into Bronzong though. That's fine. I was gonna swap out Morgrim next turn anyway. I would be very sad if they're both just like, okay, here comes the Torkoal double earthquake. So now we'll get the Trick Room up. And we'll bring in Torkoal over here. I wonder if he was expecting Morgrim to swap out turn one and was just preemptively, like, aiming over at that slot waiting for Torkoal to come in because he knew this would be a weather battle. Doing okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's probably Celesteel in the back. As much as I want to swap Bronzong out, I honestly think this is probably going to be ideal. Could just aim into hip out on right now. He does have ground coverage on that Draco's ult, and that wasn't really what I wanted to see. You 
You know what? Let's just do it. This is fine. Weavile's over there. Okay. That was still a good chunk of damage. Oh, that was a crit. Okay, so... Not quite half. What are the chances he's aiming a yawn at that spot? I'm pretty sure he is. Just put my stuff to sleep until it stops being a problem. Ooh, it was a good shot. Alright, Bronzong can just exist over here. Now we'll just we'll just uh, keep threatening the existence of his Weavile. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's let's make sure that Hippowdon's not spreading yawns or uh, or slack offs. Oh my gosh, I'm fast oh right, trick room. Haha, <laughs> yeah, of course. Anyway, threatening, threatening things. Um, okay, so now we get the reflect up. And hopefully it'll just be one turn of sleep. Oh my gosh, it was just one turn of sleep. Goodbye, Weavile! Hefty chunks. So by stalling him out a turn, it pushes his timeline out, so he's slacking off this turn instead of uh, last turn and hurting my face this turn. Oh no, the Sharpedo! So that's also dead. <laughs> Unless he protects. That would suck if he protected. Um, I kind of want to protect myself and see what he's doing. Let's see. We were asleep for one turn. We got our trick room off, and then we went to sleep. So we should have one more turn. Yeah. One more protect. Double protect. Double protect! Yes! Your caution has played right into my hands. But Bronzong will live. It will live. I'm not worried about that. But what could it be throwing my way? I think I'm going to keep Morgrim out for one more turn and just kind of work on him pout on a little bit. Oh, okay. That's that's fair. That was a good chunk. Aw, oh, dude, I'm sorry. I don't know if you just thought it missed or if you just spaced it, but yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, is Celesteel a number four? He is now locked at... Oh, I knew it was Draco's ult. I knew it was Draco's ult. He opened with it. Okay, so this is his opening combo. These are his last two Pokemon. He's locked out of weather unless he has Sandstream as a move on him pout on. Which I wouldn't be super shocked.
Um, I don't think we need the trick room anymore. Oh no, the fire fang, it hurts! Only not, because I got two iron defenses up. If it was a crit, that definitely would have hurt. The body press for big damage! Not enough to one-shot, though. It takes all three. It takes all three. Uh, but I do believe that is GG's. Yeah, he's just gonna call it there. GG game one. Uh, let's see what he does to adapt for game two. <laughs> I had Landris the whole time, but he never even knew. I kind of want to open Hitmonlee. That, that little combo is fun. Maybe we save it for game three? I kind of want to do it now and just see what happens. You... You bronzong because you beef. I open bronzong right away. He can just be there and be thick. Let's see, how did Torkoal perform? He's got ground. I can hit that super effectively, but he's got the fire cover. No, he's got ground coverage on it. Uh, the fire destroys half his team, though, so Torkoal's worth having in the back. And who for number four? Just Morgrim as well. Bring Cursula next time. What's Cursula have? Um, Ghost Ice Fire. Yeah, yeah, we'll just, we'll bring Morgrim in now. It looks like he's got a fairly physical team going for him, too. The Sharpedo, he's revealed a special, so that's uh, a problem. <laughs> it's something about not being allowed to have two life orbs. Okay, that was his problem <laughs> at the start of this. Sella Steel of Berserker. Okay, he's going for the steel. I want you dead combo now. And that's fine. Because we're going to do some trickery. We got some trickery. Um, let's see. We could keep Bronzong out. But I... Honestly, I kind of want to swap Bronzong for for Morgan right now. For right now, just for right now. Uh, Berserker's probably gonna hit hard, but I'm really hoping it doesn't kill him only. <laughs> that would suck. Haha! Overpowered fakeouts. Ow. And now, now we can do some damage. But we're going to pick out the Celesteela again, because that sounds like a smart move. You, stop it. <laughs> also you, stop it. Hello, Weavile! Alright, Hitmonlee doesn't... It doesn't get to not this time. Weavile is just going to fake it right out. Um, if he doesn't, though, that Weavile is quite dead. Oh, if he doesn't, that Weavile is so quite dead. Uh, I hope the Reflect goes up. It, it should have been light screen. It should have been light screen because Celesteel is just going to obliterate Hitmonlee. 
Oh no, it wants Morgrim dead. I can respect that. Uh, but we still really want this Weavile dead. And as much as I would love to see Morgrim take another Flash Cannon, I don't think it's going to happen. Even if I get a light screen up. <laughs> So we vile for big damage. Okay, there's two down. Oh no! Torkoal, you tank. Torkoal, you champ. Well, well, it's the Sharpedo. So we can just kick that again. Three high jump kicks right in a row. And yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna do this. <laughs> wow, the fighting coverage played off a lot more than I thought it was going to. I mean, like, it's it's not necessarily coverage on Hitmonlee, it's stab on Hitmonlee, but man, I was, it, the fighting brought a lot more work than I was expecting it to. Oh no, Torkoal, I love you, goodbye! <laughs> Oh, jeez. So, there is two boosts. <laughs> Torkoal, you champ. I love you. Thank you. I appreciate your effort. And now, the fake out. Only we're not going to high jump kick this time. Oh my gosh, you whiffed him on Lee! How could you whiff it? Okay, let's just get that light screen up. Because if he whiffs another one, this is going to be a very, very, very bad day. Thank you. Oh, that still wasn't enough. Oh, no. Ugh. <laughs> this battle is getting away from me. The reflect is gone. That's fine. <laughs> We saw the flamethrower, so that sucks. But he can't take out both of us, so that's our game. <laughs> he can't take out both of us at the same time. That's our game. Oh, Bronzong, you champ! Oh, oh my gosh. Morgrim, thank you so much. I really need to confirm that that was going to go down because I didn't need that heart attack and a half. GG, man. Holy crap. That was an obnoxious turnaround coming from game two. Holy damn, dude. Oh, no. Oh, that's too bad. He concedes game three. Well... I hate to see it happen, but GG's, man. That, that game two was coming back. That game two was very scary.